Now you, you can go and follow up the sheriff order if you want to. Loud outbursts in language at this Hines County Supervisor meeting. It comes a day after the board voted to remove Supervisor David Archie from his roles as vice president and president-elect. President Cradell Calhoun says Archie was name-calling and using other inappropriate language. And I told him that, that can't happen. That's against the rules. She's supposed to speak to each supervisor by name. And he didn't do that. He said he wasn't going to do that. I'm going to make sure that Marshawn and Crystal advised his deputies. That's when the board voted to remove Archie from the meeting, causing him to respond and Hines County deputies to step in. We went and approached him and asked him very politely to uh, uh, leave the meeting. And we did that several times for about three minutes and to give him an opportunity to calm down and, and adhere to the instructions. He refused to do that. The damage from Archie's outburst can be seen here. Pieces of plexiglass left that once held up a shield for protection against COVID-19. Interim Sheriff Marshawn Chrysler says Archie was later released, but now faces five misdemeanor charges. He was charged with breach of the peace, public peace. He was charged with disorderly conduct. He was charged with prohibition of public business being conducted in a formal public meeting. He was uh, charged with destruction of public property and he was charged with resisting arrest. Archie later held a news conference to explain his side of the ordeal, clarifying what led to the damaged property. And resisting means that you're trying to run or break away. And the only thing I was doing is bracing. Let me say that again. Bracing myself. And as I braced myself, um, some of the, uh, the items was, was torn apart. President Calhoun says that Archie can still attend meetings as long as he acts accordingly to carry out his roles and responsibilities overseeing District 2 of the county. Reporting at the Hines County Chancery Court, Kara Peters, 16 WAPT News.